Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to measure a diameter. Measuring a diameter is a very simple process with this gauge. Um, we have the ability to simply engage the probe slightly off center of our diameter and then tram that probe through, sweep it through the bottom, sweep it through the top. It doesn't matter if you start on the top or the bottom. Um, the gauge is just awaiting one direction, whether it be the top or the bottom. Um, from there, we'll be able to effectively calculate the diameter as well as the center line. So if we take a look at the diameter button, which is this button in the bottom right hand corner of the display, we'll trigger that button. And this button just toggles between diameter and surface heights, um, the two most common functions of the gauge. So in diameter mode, it gives us a diameter symbol, which is going to give us the diameter of the, of the diameter measured, and it's also going to give us the center line. The center line is going to be relative to the reference that you've established, the zero position. Um, so maybe it's the bottom of the part, maybe it's another diameter, um, whatever it is that your center line is relative to. So we're in diameter mode, so we can go ahead and measure a diameter. I'm going to place my probe within entering my diameter relatively close to the center and then once I've located what I what I believe to be the center I'm gonna set myself slightly off center you could think about it like using a clock engage around five o'clock and sweep through to seven o'clock bring it up to the higher side engage around eleven o'clock sweep back through to one o'clock this is gonna ensure that we lock on the minimum and the maximum point um, effectively measuring our diameter so if we go ahead and engage our probe one thing you'll notice is that once we've engaged our probe, the probe knows we're measuring in the downward direction by that arrow pointing down. That's now applying a constant measuring force. So we're sitting on the probe, so we don't have to lock the carriage or do anything else besides engage that probe. We can then sweep through the bottom. So as we tram through the bottom, making sure that we've passed the low point, we can then go to the high side and do the same thing. So we'll engage our probe again and then sweep it back through the top. And then once we've crossed the high point, the display will freeze and give us a diameter and a center line. And right now, we have a diameter of 3.739, and we have a center line at 2.656. That center line is relative to the bottom of our part, which we established in reference one when we were establishing references previously. If I release my contact, all my information stays. Now this is where we could go even further and we could do a center line to a center line to me measurement. And I'll show you that in a minute.